At Liberty Today TV, we love to talk about voting records. And uh, Stace Nelson, uh, at, my memory tells me that you're the only candidate who's come to talk about voting records. <laughs> And we just, by the way, we would extend an invitation to any candidate for U.S. Senate to come on this set and talk about voting records. Yours, theirs, anybody's. But come talk. Uh, you've done some interesting things uh, in your tenure in the state House of Representatives. Yes, sir. And uh, I think all three of the, the candidates have had legislative experience have said that they're running on their records. So I'm the only one that's actually running on my records. I do have an actual conservative voting record. I'm proud to share that with the people of South Dakota, and they deserve to know how we voted on some of the major issues that are affecting them that may affect them in the near future. Well, and one, uh, you've, uh, you've been good enough to uh, put together some things, and these folks are based on, uh, on uh, legislative records in the state of South Dakota. This isn't manufactured. This is real stuff. And uh, when it comes to Obamacare, uh, one of the candidates met with Obama in the White House uh, four times or so, several days before the passage of Obamacare. And then uh, uh, I have some personal experience because uh, Governor Rounds, then Governor Rounds, uh, sent his chief of staff to kill my health care freedom bill, which would have stopped Obamacare. So that's one, one of the things in the record of one of the uh, uh, other candidates. Another one who was in leadership, Republican leadership, and I'm looking here, didn't sponsor or bring any legislation opposing Obamacare, didn't bring or co-sponsor, didn't bring or co-sponsor, didn't bring or co-sponsor, all the while that you were there, and for that matter that I was there, uh, it, you and I were both sponsoring legislation to stop Obamacare, while the other candidates with a record either fought against it or stood silently by. That's correct, and what South Dakotans need to understand, Americans for that matter, is even though some of these candidates have said that they're opposing Obamacare, uh, South Dakota is one of the premier states that has been prepared and laws been enacted to pass Obamacare here in South Dakota. Matter of fact, our former governor uh, was put on a task force for Obamacare reforms with Tom Daschle, and uh, he has served in that capacity. Matter of fact, uh, they helped get bills uh, ushered in and passed that have enacted Obamacare provisions that will facilitate Obamacare here in South Dakota. Furthermore, he applied for and received a $5 million grant to help set up Obamacare here in South Dakota. So when you hear these other candidates saying that they've opposed Obamacare, uh, I'd ask them, then why is South Dakota the premier state that's, uh, that is so ready and has uh, enacted so many provisions of Obamacare already? Um, we've actually, I've actually co-sponsored and sponsored bills trying to oppose it. And we do that underneath the 10th Amendment, South Dakota state rights, in, in trying to oppose what I believe, and what many people believe, is an unconstitutional grab yes. at uh, our, our health industry. Well, you know, records are, are troublesome things <laughs> when you have a bad voting record. That's right, yes. Uh, but you're not afraid to talk about yours. No. And when it comes to Obamacare, uh, I think the record is pretty clear that there's been no one other uh, who's done a better job at your attempts, Stace, to stop Obamacare in South Dakota than Representative Stace Nelson. Another interesting thing that's been rumored uh, around these Republican candidates is that one of them, we'll let you imagine which one, has supposedly said that he was a lifelong Democrat and actually voted for Jimmy Carter and Tom Daschle. Now, wouldn't you love to send someone like that to Washington to represent you? Well, I, and that's one of the reasons why I'm in this race. I, I was aware of that fact. And the same uh, candidate claims to be a lifelong conservative, but uh, their voting record and those facts kind of belay the truth or belie the truth. And, um, you know, it's, it's one of the reasons why I got into the race. South Dakotans want an actual conservative to run to serve them in the U.S. Senate, and that's one of the reasons why I'm in the race, is to give them that viable alternative. And I do believe that that is, and all the candidates have indicated that we need an actual physical conservative to go to D.C. and to fight that culture of corruption there. 
Well, and they've all said they're running on the record. Well, the records indicate I'm that only physical conservative in the race. <laughs> well, the record doesn't lie. And uh, Stace, thank you for being with us today. We're so grateful, not only that you're here, but that you're in this race. Stace is a genuine man who's not in it for his own glorification. He's in it because he's got a heart to serve. Thank you.